Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reviewing Florence and the Machine new album High Has Hope. Before we get started, I want to remind you that this is simply my opinion on the album and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. I am catching up on releases that I missed lately because of various reasons and High As Hope is the new Florence and the Machine album which brings back memories for me as the last time I reviewed the last album it was actually my third review on the channel three years ago when I just started making reviews and uh, it's quite nostalgic to think about it and to see that three years later here we are with a review of this new album. Now let's talk about the album. I actually listened to it when it came out, but I decided to not review it just yet because my impressions on the album at first felt very rushed and not as authentic as I would have wished. It happens sometimes and that's why I decided that I'd rather take a bit more time to get my opinion on it refined and just more accurate. This album for me felt very personal, very reflective, while still being very much a Florence and the Machine album as it continues to follow the same path, musically speaking. Even if here I felt like it tones down this feeling of grandeur to something more raw and intimate, which I think suits the album's lyrical themes quite well here, and it really allows Florence's voice to be the guiding light throughout this album, and for me her voice here really is the focal point of the stories being told in this one, and especially on a song like Grace, it really allows her emotions and the fact that the melody is so discreet really lets the lyrics sink in a lot more in this case. But even the closing song, Choir, really illustrates this reflectiveness beautifully. Like the lyrics, uh, I have to tell you these lyrics because I thought they were really great. But when she says, there will be no grand choirs to sing, no chorus will come in, no ballad will be written. It will be entirely forgotten and these are such powerful lyrics and the fact that they happen to be part of the final song of this album I think is just the best way to end this one. Overall, I'm glad I waited a bit to be able to fully appreciate this album because it ended up being for me a fascinating one, with lyrics that really got to me and I truly appreciated the meticulous craft that went through Highest Hope. And after many listens, it ended up being an album that got to me, that really impacted me and I did not expect that because the first time I listened to it, I really wasn't into it, if I have to be honest. I listened to it a couple times and I don't know if I was not in the right mood for it or not in a good state of mind, but I, I was. it took almost a month for me to really go back to it and today I did and I was like, it was clear for me that this was my opinion now on it and that's why I wanted to share it with you. And actually, I think this album might end up being my favorite Florence and the Machine album and that's why I gave it four stars and a half. Thank you for watching, don't forget to tell me what you think of the album down below and I'll see you next time.